What's up fam? Welcome back to my channel or if you are new to this channel, welcome. My name is Mary and this is my Veiled Chameleon Verde. Um, and obviously by today's title, I'm going to be talking about my experience with her laying her infertile eggs. Um, I get a lot of questions all the time on Instagram about how I set up her little tub and all that good stuff. Um, I do wanna say that this is just my experience with her laying infertile eggs. Um, please do way more research beyond this. Uh, it always helps to learn more. Um, I'm not like a professional at all. This was my first time ever having to deal with her laying eggs and it could be a very stressful situation, but um, thank God everything ended up being all good. So I just kind of want to share my tips and tricks that I might help uh, new chameleon owners out there because you guys are always asking how I set her up and was it stressful and like signs and all that good stuff. So I'm just gonna give you my little spiel, my story. Um, she's kind of heavy right now, so <laughs> you wanna say hello? She's so beautiful. Um, I'm going to let her go on her castle right now because she's gonna kill my arm. What do you want, baby? What you guys always ask me about this um, little castle I have for her that I let her hang out on um, when I clean her enclosure or just let her get out of her enclosure. My cousin got this for me for Christmas and um, it's like all natural wood and it, nothing, no chemicals were ever touched on it. Um, she got it at like a garden shop and I have spotted a few here and there. So if you have like a boutique kind of garden shop, I'm sure you can find something like that. They're kind of getting more popular. I'm going to bring her up here. All right, so you have to first figure out if you have a female chameleon. Um, I got Verde when she was super small, so I couldn't even tell if she was a male or female. And then as she grew, uh, the one way that I could tell that she was a female was she didn't get these little hooks that males do in the back of their legs. I will just insert a little picture right here so you guys can see. There are some distinct different things between male and female, but when they're little, you can't really tell right off the bat. Um, if there's other ways to know if you have a male or a female, comment below. But the way I knew was uh, she didn't have any of those horns develop hooks or whatever off her legs. So right when I knew, okay, I got a female on my hands, um, it was time to start doing the research. So I was prepared for when she does lay these eggs because um, I was really worried about her. I love her to death and it could be a whole stressful situation if you don't do it the right way. So obviously she got a lot rounder, like a lot rounder in her belly and she was way more antsier in her enclosure and that was kind of like my first sign like okay she's looking for somewhere to dig. She was on the ground a lot more. She was just all over her enclosure. She was uncomfortable I could tell. Um, she got very uncomfortable. And then obviously she was very unbalanced. So I first did a little smaller bin to see if she was actually going to use it. And I just did like cocoa fiber in there. And then instantly when I put that small bin in, she went right to it and started to dig and it was not deep enough whatsoever. It was time to go get her some proper soil to lay these eggs in a bigger bin. So I will show you exactly what I used for her. Um, you can use like a Home Depot tub, but for me, I just used a big large bin like this. That was pretty damn deep. And uh, I filled this all. So this is like super important what kind of substrate you get for them. Um, I know there are probably other brands and other ones, or maybe you can even make it your own. But the one that I use is this reptile soil by Umed. And the reason why you want to get a certain kind of uh, soil is because you need it to have some kind of sand in it. Um, even or not, she needs like this crazy little tunnel cave to lay these eggs. Um, so I filled this tub all the way up with that special type of soil. And um, I had to take out a lot of her vines and stuff so to make room for that bin. And then I put a few uh, branches so she can climb down to it. 
and I also blocked off her cage so she can be full privacy. Um, I could tell she didn't want me looking at her. They don't want you looking at her. They want they want you to feel they want to feel as secure as possible. Since I didn't have pictures of my own setup, these are some that I found off the internet that was pretty similar to what I had for my girl. Um, so three days I was noticing she was going to her bin and starting to dig her little uh, hole for her eggs. Um, I just let her be. I was trying to offer her food, but she really was not hungry. I was misting her a ton, so she stayed hydrated. <sighs> it was really stressful the last, last few days to see her dig and would peek in there just to be like, okay, is she all good? At one point I couldn't find her because her little tunnel cave that she made was so deep in there. And that's why it's important to have that special sand because it helps them build that cave and it won't break on them. They literally like need this whole little secure little cave. It was crazy. It blew my mind. It blows my mind. About 7.30 it was time for me to go turn off her lights and I noticed she was out of the bin and she looked way skinnier than she did before. So I was like... Oh gosh, she, she laid her eggs, okay. I misted her down and let her rest for the night. The next day, um, I started to feed her crickets and uh, hornworms with calcium dust. So I did read a lot online that you could um, give them liquid calcium. It kind of just sounded way too stressful to like pick her up, take her out and like insert uh, calcium. She already is a good eater, and so I just made sure I gave her more crickets that were dusted for like the whole, for at least a week, and she was right back on her regular track again. So there are different, if you have like a chameleon that won't eat right after they lay their eggs, and it's really important that they get that calcium in. So like I said, do your more research on that because I was pretty blessed that she ate right away and gained back her weight. Um, she was pretty darn tired, I could tell, and weak, but I got her energy back, and she looks darn good now. That's what happens if you get a female veiled chameleon. Um, you're going to have to, you're going to have to get through it one way or another. Um, I definitely was not going to breed her. Um, I'm just not into that, so, and I didn't want to put her through the stress of that. There are just a lot of different things out there online that could be confusing. I personally read a lot and talk to other veiled female chameleon moms out there and ask, hey, am I doing this right? And they gave me the thumbs up. So I did have a lot of friends that I did confide in and ask them like, hey, am I doing this right? Just to be sure. And I was, and it was successful. Um, so yeah, we got through that first infertile egg. There were so many of them. personally took them all out and I, I didn't really know what to do with them other than put them like bury them deep in my garden hopefully like a gopher will go eat them but yeah I didn't want to throw them in the trash so I just buried them deep in the back corner of my yard and I think a gopher will eat them um it's just a girl thing you know you gotta get through that uh it's gonna happen if you have a female you're, you're gonna have to go through that and big things that i suggest is to have that reptile soil on hand and ready and a big bin like i said it doesn't have to be a bin it could be a tub it just has to be deep enough for them to go down and dig and feel secure um i hope this video is helpful to somebody out there she's just been chilling <laughs> Um, thank you guys for always checking out my videos. If you have any more tips and tricks, please comment below because I am still a new veiled chameleon mom and uh, I'm still learning along the way, but I hope this video is helpful and we hope you guys take it easy out there and until then, we'll see you. Bye.